Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I have a cool tutorial for you on how to make a graphical model in QGIS that lets you pick any location on the map with a mouse click. This model will store the coordinates of your click in a point vector layer. Then I'll show you how to apply this in a model to draw streams and catchments for any location you choose. You can get this model from the resource sharing plugin which I've covered in some of my previous videos. So let's get started. I've added a backdrop from OpenStreetMap and I'm going to create a new model from the Processing Toolbox. I maximize the Model Designer window. Here you see the inputs. So this video is about this point input where the user can click on the map canvas and the coordinates will be used in the model. In this little example, we're going to create a layer from the point. I use this create layer from point tool. Then I change this to the model input, which is point, and then we save the point layer. Give it a name, point to layer, and I make a group test. I save the model in my profile. Let's test the model. I find the model under models test point to layer. If we double click, I can run the model. I click the browse button. I'm asked to click on the map canvas and that gives the coordinates in the projection of the project. Then I can uh, save that to any vector layer. Let's save it as a geo package. Let test and run it. And that created the point at the location where I clicked. Let's apply this now to stream and catchment delineation. For this model, I assume that you have installed the PC Raster Tools plugin and the Open Topography DM Downloader plugin. The installation of these plugins has been covered in other videos. I'm going to create a new model, and this is going to be a big one. I'll start with giving the model a name, Stream and Catchment Delineation, and I save it in a group Hydrology. The first input that I'm going to add is Extend, because the user needs to specify the extent for which the uh, Open Topography DM Downloader plugin will download the DM tile. Next, I need to add a string for the Open Topography API key. Then I can use the Open Topography DM Downloader tool, and we're going to set it to the 30 meter DM for this tool. And for the extent, we use the model input study area extent. And for the API key, we use the open topography API key input. Let's save the model. Next, I want the user to define the output projection. I use the CRS input. And it should not be EPSG4326, so I set the default on Project CRS. Then I want to reproject the downloaded DEM, and I use the Warp Reproject tool. As an input, I want the algorithm output, which is the result of the Open Topography DEM downloader. And I specify that the target CRS is our output CRS input. I keep nearest neighbor resampling. I change no data to minus 9999 and the output file resolution to 30 meters. Next step is to convert this file to the PC raster format. And I'm going to specify that in the description, convert DM to PC raster format. And I use there the output from the warp algorithm as an input of this algorithm and scalar output data type because the DM is continuous. And I also want the user to be able to store this output. So the yellow boxes are input, the white boxes are processes, and uh, the green boxes are outputs. The next step is to create the local drain direction map or flow direction map. Change the description, calculate flow direction, change the DM layer to algorithm output and choose there the converted PC raster DEM. The next step is to calculate the Strahler orders and we do that with the stream order tool from PC raster. 
change the description to calculate Strahler orders. And as an input, we use the algorithm output, which is the local drain direction layer. Now we're only interested in Strahla orders above a certain threshold that the user needs to define to consider those pixels as part of the river. So we need another input. I choose a number input, and uh, that's the Strahla order threshold that the user needs to give. It's an integer number type. The minimum is always uh, one, and I put a default value of five. Then I need to create a raster from that number and I do that with the spatial tool. Then change the description, create Strahla order threshold raster. That basically converts this Strahla order threshold, which I create here as a model input, to an ordinal raster with just that value. And the mask layer is the local train direction layer. I'm going to move it a bit. Next step is to use a comparison operator to select from the Strahler orders the pixels that are larger or equal to the threshold raster. We change the description to select Strahler orders larger than or equal to the threshold. The first input raster is the algorithm output, and there I select the Strahler order layer. Comparison operator is changed to larger than or equal to and the second raster layer there is an algorithm output and that is the threshold value that results in a boolean uh, layer river not river pixels and then with the if then tool we can um, add again the strala orders to the true pixels so we'll end up with the river with pixels of the Strahler orders. We change the description, assign Strahler orders to river. The Boolean condition is an algorithm output. And the second raster, which is if it is true, then assign the stream order result, which is the Strahler orders. Now we want to convert this to a vector layer. And um, if you want to convert raster lines to vector lines, you need to use uh, a thin tool to make sure that uh, pixels of the river are only one pixel wide. So I use R thin from um, grass. And as an input, we use the um, output of the last uh, tool, change the description, thin river raster. And I use the grass R2 vect tool to convert this now to vector line. And I change the description, convert river raster to line. As an input, we use the algorithm output of the thin result. Feature type is line. We keep everything as default except use raster values as categories instead of a unique sequence. So it will use the uh, Strahler order values, which will result then in a line with. Uh, the Strahler order values in the attribute table. Now, on the way, uh, we lost the projection. So I'm going to assign the projection here. This has to do with the intermediate PC raster results, uh, which are in temporary files and uh, do not store any projection information. So here I use assign projection and I assign it to this uh, last result where we factorized uh, the raster line. And we use here the CRS from the user input. Another issue is that uh, if you go from uh, raster to vector, you have a lot of geometrical issues. And uh, we can use simply fixed geometries to uh, fix some of the issues. We keep the default repair method. And uh, here we can output then uh, the streams. Let's reorganize this a bit. It takes too much space. I can select all and I can add a group box. 
With the group box, you can make uh, compartments of your model. And uh, this model will have two compartments. The first part is about delineating uh, the string network. That's what we just finished. Now we call this box stream delineation and we can give it a color. Let's make it a light blue. And then we can proceed with the second part, which is the catchment delineation. For the second part of the model, we need as a user input the point with the outlet selected from the map canvas. And we need to create a layer from that point. which uses as a model input the uh, select outlet point on map input. Then we need to reproject this point to the defined uh, projection for all the output layers. I'm going to use as an input the algorithm output, which is the point. And then I use the output CRS input. And the user can see this then in the output as the original outlet. Next, we need to snap this outlet to the river that we have just delineated in the first part of the model. There's an input. I use the algorithm output, which is the reprojected point. And as a reference layer, we use the line vector from the fixed geometries. Here we can set the tolerance of the snapping. And you can play with that figure, but uh, by making it a kilometer, it will snap uh, uh, to the closest line, hopefully. Otherwise, you can just change it to 500 or something else, or make it an input. At the behavior, I'll change it to uh, prefer closest point, but insert extra vertices where required. So it will go to the line and add a point on the line if it's needed. And the user can save this as the snapped outlet. Let's reorganize it a bit. Next, we need to rasterize this point. So I use rasterize vector to raster. Change the description to rasterize snapped outlet to make it clear. As an input layer, we use the algorithm output, which is the snapped geometry. We want it to have a pixel value of one. The output raster size units should be in georeferenced units, and then we can define that that's 30 meters. For the output extent, we should use the model input of the study area extent. And the no data value is minus 9999. The next step is that we need to convert this to the PC raster format. Change the description to convert outlet to PC raster format. For the raster layer, I use algorithm output uh, rasterized uh, snap outlet and make it a data type Boolean. I need to uh, resample this result in order to make it exactly fit with uh, the raster layers from PC raster in the stream delineation part of the model. So as an input, I use here the uh, convert to PC raster. And as a mask, I use the local drain direction layer. Then I can use the catchment tool in this pixel. I change the description to calculate the catchment. For LDD layer, we use the local drain direction layer, and for the outlet layer, we use that uh, outlet converted to the PC raster format that was resampled. And then this is the catchment in raster format in a description. So I'm going to use the polygonize tool from GDAL to create a polygon out of this uh, raster catchment. Input layer, I will use the algorithm output, 
which is the catchment raster, keep all the defaults. Because our catchment has a polygon with the attribute dn equals 1, I need to extract that by an expression. For an input, I use the algorithm output of the polygonized catchment raster. The expression is in double quotes dn, because that's the field, equals 1. That relates back to the Boolean uh, 1 that we created of the outlet. And then the catchment got also value 1. And uh, I save this then as the output catchment boundary, which should be then one polygon. Let's reorganize it a bit. Add a group box. And we call this one catchment delineation. Give it a color, make it green. I'm finishing touches so it looks better. Edit the help string. So this is like a wizard where you can fill in the different parts of the help string. Reorder the inputs in such a way that it's more logical for the end user. Save the model. We can close the window and then we can uh, run it. So I'm going to use our new model to delineate the faster catchment. I run the model from the processing toolbox and I define first the study area extent by clicking this button. Then I select the outlet point on the map, zoom in. There's the Vestra, and let me take the point at that bridge. Takes the coordinates. I use a Strata order of 7. Paste the Open Topography API key. Save the results to the files. And then I'll run the model. In this case, I didn't change the output uh, projection. And here's the result. Let's move the catchment boundary a bit upward and uh, zoom to the layer. Here we clearly see the shape of the Vesto catchment and uh, the river lines. And in other videos I have uh, demonstrated how to style this properly, so here I'm just going to do a fast forward with inverted polygon shape burst fill and the hill shape blending. Interpolated line renderer for the river. And that's the result. So in this video you've learned how to create a graphical model which uses a coordinate selected on the map canvas by the user. You can also download this model through the resource sharing plugin for PC Raster. How this works is explained in another video and you can find the link in the description of this video.